Uh, members of the Civil Union Commission and others gathered here tonight, I'm Jody Weiner of Montclair, New Jersey. Like you, I have read a lot in the newspapers about civil unions not working, and I have read a lot about activists saying that marriage would work much better to guarantee equality for same-sex couples in New Jersey, even if federal law would still apply and exempt many workplaces from the requirement of recognizing same-sex relationships. I'm here tonight because my partner Sally and I have lived through the experience of how the word marriage can indeed make a difference. In fact, you might call my situation an advanced look at how much better things would be in New Jersey when we enact marriage equality, as I urge this commission to recommend. My partner Sally and I have been together for nine years. We got married in Massachusetts, which as you know is the only state that allows same-sex couples to marry. Though being an electrician is my primary career, I have taken sabbaticals from my profession from time to time to try other jobs. When I work as an electrician, I receive health benefits through my union, which is IBEW Local 456 here in New Jersey. In June of 2007, I resumed work as an electrician and therefore looked to receive benefits from the union after working the required hours for benefits eligibility, which I completed. I had previously been covered as a single woman, but this time, with New Jersey having a civil union law, I wanted to go on a family plan to cover my partner. I called the benefits administration company for the union, and the first person there told me she didn't know if civil union partners would be eligible for family coverage. I was then referred to another department. The next person told me that the union's plan would not cover civil union partners because the plan is covered by federal law. She thought that federal law disallowed benefits for same-sex partners. At that point, I decided to contact a representative at Pride at Work, the LGBT organization of the AFL-CIO. They contacted my union and described my situation in detail, that I was actually married in Massachusetts. I had originally described Sally and me as civil union because I knew that our civil union law recognizes same-sex couples married in Massachusetts and living in New Jersey as civil union partners for the purposes for receiving benefits here. I also spoke to another person who told me that the language in the collective bargaining agreement and used by the trustees of the benefits fund specifically used the words marriage and spouse. I was told by another union officer to, sus to submit a special request to the trustees in order to gain equal benefits for my partner. After Pride at Work called my union, I followed up with the benefits administration company. This time I made clear that Sally and I were married in Massachusetts. The company told me that our case of a same-sex couple married in Massachusetts seeking to obtain civil union benefits in New Jersey was the first one like it they had seen. So finally, after Pride at Work intervened on my behalf, I again contacted the head of the Benefits Administration Company. He then said that yes, because I am married, I can indeed present my marriage certificate and become eligible for the family plan that would also cover Sally. The difference between the words civil union and the word marriage could not be greater. The words civil union were not good enough for Sally and me to get equality in New Jersey, but the word marriage is. Members of the commission and elected officials, we can all talk about how the civil union law is supposed to work just like marriage, but in my case and others, it doesn't work that way in the real world. I understand that the same federal law loophole applies to Massachusetts same-sex marriage as it does to New Jersey civil unions, but as Sally and I know now, when you tell your employer or union you are married, there's something about that word that makes them recognize your relationship in a way they don't recognize it when you tell them that you are civil unioned. And because of their respect for the word marriage, which is something they understand, they are much less likely to invoke the federal law loophole. And that's what happened with us. I ask you on behalf of myself and Sally and all the other civil union couples in New Jersey who face what we faced to replace New Jersey civil union law with an equal marriage law that will work much better not only for same-sex couples, but also for employers and unions. As Sally and I have experienced personally, the word marriage is a word of difference. Thank you.